what I wanted to do when I was six, but I knew I wanted to go to university. Um, and I was, before I went to university, I, was, I didn't end up going because I was spotted in a play at school when I was 16 by Julian Fellows, the Oscar-winning screenwriter. Like you do, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as soon as I walked onto the set of my first job, it was a TV job, it was for the BBC actually, called The Prince and the Pauper, I just completely fell in love with it. And I knew that I thought, well, this is what I want to do, and there was no turning back. Do you think it's often the case that one, one door opens, then it just literally yeah. opens onto a whole host of different things? Absolutely. But from there, I mean, you, we mentioned at the top of the show, I mean, Johnny Depp, I mean, mm -hmm. pretty, pretty mega mm. that you went on to do f films, and you know, you, I was looking, the only thing you probably haven't done is theatre, that much theatre. No, I've done one play, funny enough, when I was 19, with Richard Armitage, my co star of Spooks. Yeah, we're going to get on yeah. to that as well, but <laughs> uh, it's coming up, it's coming up. <laughs> Monday night, I've got to talk about my apples first. There you go, right? BBC One. <laughs> yes, it's coming up, all right. You've done it now, there you go. So, uh, but Thunderbirds, because I, I was a fan. Were you a fan of Thunderbirds? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I always had a bit of crush on oh. <laughs> so what was your favourite? what was your favourite Thunderbird and not Lady Penelope? Uh -huh. What was your favourite, favourite... Oh. What was the one with the um, glasses? Um, oh, I've forgotten his name. I can't believe oh, it. Brains? No, not the bloke. Brains, what about brains. the machine? Oh, he brains, means brains. the craft of the spaceships. Which one did you like? One, two, three, four? Pick oh. a number, one to five. <laughs> I don't two. think it's... <laughs> two is the big green one. So okay, two, yeah. two was the green one. Two was... That was the coolest one. OK, oh, good. Uh, yeah. I like number one. Anyway. <laughs> number one was that spaceship. Well, that yeah. spaceship-looking yeah. thing, yeah, you yeah. see? See, we all have our favourites. Anyway, <laughs> look. Anyway, apples. I'm just going to dice these up. These get mixed together with sugar, butter, a uh, little bit of cinnamon. While I'm doing that, tell us about Spooks. Spooks. <laughs> so exciting. Um, I've just joined the cast. Uh, goes out on... Just said... But, um, on Monday night at 9 o'clock. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I, I haven't seen it yet myself because they, they keep it so secret from I've us. Seen You've it. seen it? Yeah, I've got the DVD. Do you want to tell it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fiverr. It... Fiver. It'll right. be eBay if not. So. Right. <laughs> I've seen it. It's fantastic. Great. I have to say. But your first, with a show like that, you often think, and, and fans of the show, you've got two fans over there, mm -hmm. Spooks will know that as soon as you get a call like that to do the job, you almost need to apply for another one. Yeah, because you know you're going to die. Because they're going <laughs> to yeah. they're going to kill you off somewhere, yeah. whether it's the, sort of the first series, second series, but, you know, you're on... I heard, I'd never been a fan before because I'd never seen it. It's funny enough, you're doing this while I'm about to tell you something. Didn't someone die in a deep fat fryer <laughs> They the did. Beginning? They did. As I'm deep fat frying, yes, <laughs> yeah. my donuts. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Yeah. <laughs> They did, they did. So, but you play. Tell us, tell us about the storyline. Go on, tell us. Well, I play um, a character who um, is actually loosely based on um, someone who exists in real life. Um, but all of the plots, like, we've only based her history on this this person. But all all the plots are fictitious. But um, she was effectively spotted when she was 18 years old at university, and she was headhunted by MI6. Now, this is a real person yeah. who you met. Yeah, MI6, and she did all the training, and at the last minute she decided she didn't want to go and work for the government, but she did want to work in the investigation and security industries. So she went out and worked in the private sector. Now, check this out. At the age of about 26, this girl was out in the Middle East. She, had, she was a, a shareholder in a private company worth a couple of million, and she had 600 ex-SAS soldiers working beneath her. This is at 25, 26 years old. Wow. Beats Johnny Depp at 21, exactly. 19. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it is. I mean, anybody that hasn't seen it, I don't know why, because it's what's it? It's ninth series now. Yeah, it's series it? nine. And there's a, what we've done is we've written we've written it into in this is fiction that she met Harry Pierce, who's the head of MI5. She met him like 10 years ago, so they have a history. Yeah. Um, so she's coming to England to work for MI5. Yeah, and it's in its ninth ninth series. Everyone loves it. Everyone I mention it to, people adore spooks. It is hugely popular, mm. I have to say. So am I go so are my donuts going to be? So Good. sorry to bring the conversation back <laughs> onto the donuts. <laughs> as much as I like spooks, look, but this donuts, you see. I've got my apples here strewn away with some butter, sugar and stuff like that. Apple puree is happening here. You just blend that in a food process and you've got a simple apple puree. But on with the, the, the batter for your donuts. All it is is in a rich yeast dough. So like you make bread, However, this has got more yeast in it, so you've got plain flour, yeast, sugar, and the sugar feeds yeast. So this is where you're getting enriched yeast dough from. Mm. Salt, you keep that separate from the yeast because it will kill it. Butter. Oh. Could you use ghee? Butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's already too fat. You could. <laughs> Butter. And then we put some water in it. Mix it all together, and you end up with an enriched enrich yeast dough that you can make rum bar bars, all that kind of stuff, um, donuts. Mix it all together. What's a rum bar bar? 
kind of thing uh, like this, but then, yeah, you... Oh, it's yummy. It's, it's you, you don't fry it, you bake it, and then you pour rum Ooh, into it. Sugary it syrup. soaks mm, in wow. and sugary syrup. I said that oh, without moving my lips. But anyway, that's mm. rum barba. You, you could make that. And alternatively, you can then deep fry and make these little donuts. Now, the idea of this is you prove this twice. So you prove the batter like you do bread, um, allow it to rise up, cool it down, mold it up into little balls, and then prove it again. And it'll make, once you've proven it again, make mm. these little balls here. And then deep fry them. Oh my goodness! Which we've got there. So these are your little donuts. You can, of course, make bigger ones if you wanted. There. And then what you do while they're still warm, we then get this. It's dangerous. My my, <laughs> produ my, my producer of this show mm. spends about a day working on this program. The other four days he was looking for this. <laughs> um, so this has come from great expense. He told me from Nottingham. All right. You think the Pope had outriders? This thing. Add couriers bringing <laughs> okay. this down to us. There, so we've got this thing, fantastic. And you push that in there, all right? Oh. And then you fill it full of this puree, like that. This is probably why nobody's ever bothered doing this on TV. But you fill it full of this puree, and then you take your little stick like that, <laughs> and then you prod it in there, and oh, fill them wow. up, all right? Now you probably noticed that I haven't. Mm roll them in sugar yet. So you've, that seals in the gap. And obviously you could do jam like this exactly the same way. And you get your sugar, roll them in the sugar, and you have your apple puree <coughs> filled donuts. Easy as that. Wow. See, now you know. Nobody will actually do this. Why? But <laughs> they just scared. I don't think they will, but, <laughs> but it is worth it. When you get, start making your own stuff, stuff like that, it is delicious. And then you grab your apples, which I've just put with a little bit of cinnamon on there as well. Nice and simple. There you go. Some ice cream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just a little scoop of ice cream. Is this good actress food, girls? Is this what? Good actress food. Oh, yeah. Deep fried donut, ice cream. <laughs> this is just food in general, Bill. Isn't it? <laughs> and then you have a little pile. Is this for breakfast? Yeah, curry and <laughs> donuts for <laughs> breakfast. That's what I eat every day. <laughs> You're speaking to a Yorkshireman, Maddie. You have this Ooh. every day of the week, don't you? Right. Oh, my goodness. Dive into that. Tell us what you think of that. So that's stewed apples, apple puree, apple donuts. Okay, I need to, I'm gonna, I need to cut You've got to try the donuts. Of course, of course. <gasps> oh, how exciting. There you go. But don't forget, you need one of these. <laughs> <laughs> this will be eBay later, but there you go. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Is it worth the effort? Oh. I think it is. Mm. It's so good. TV first. There you go. Yeah. So we'll be cooking mm. for Sophia at the end of the show. We'll be facing food heaven. I think she's already got it. Um, that cured meat, that patanegra, made into a risotto. Like I said, the king of all meats, patanegra. The ham is cut into lardons and added to a risotto, along with peas, asparagus. Then it's served with some roasted pieces of monkfish, crispy slithers of pants patanegra on the top, and a few herbs. I oh, will Sophia be facing food hell, crab. I'm going to make little balls of brown crab meat, coriander potato, cover them with uh, seeds, breadcrumbs, deep fry them, and it's served with the white meat, with a touch of lime, some sautéed crab claws, spinach, and a homemade chilli jam on the side. Some of our viewers and the guys in the studio get side Sophia's fate today. Maddo, what do you like the sound of? You tried both in rehearsal? Are you going to go for the, the crab? Or are you I'm going, going to, to try both, but I want the crab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that the one you're going to pick? Yes. Yes, there you go. And Charlotte, what about you? Are you going to... Definitely not crab. I don't definitely. like crab myself, so definitely food heavy. 50 yeah, 50 at this, this so far, <laughs> so you'll have to wait till the end of the show to see the final result. Right, now we've reached the southwest heat of the great British menu. And today it's Top Chef's Nathan Outlaw and John.